Welcome back to PA Live. This week, season 20 of Bravo's Project Runway will reveal the ultimate all-star fashion designing champion. The winner will receive a quarter of a million dollars supplied by Friction Pilot Erasable Pens, a feature in Elle magazine, and a career-changing mentorship with the Council of Fashion Designers of America. The three finalists who showed their collections at New York Fashion Week are joining us now this afternoon with some reflections on the season ahead of Thursday's big finale. Vishmi, Brittany, and Laurence, welcome to PA Live and congratulations on the season. So good to have you. Hi. Thank Hi. you. Hello. Hi. How are you? I have to tell you right off the bat, here in Northeast Pennsylvania, we are big Project Runway fans. It goes all the way back to 2005 when Jay McCarroll won the inaugural season. Designers, I don't know if you know, but Jay McCarroll was from Lehman, Pennsylvania. Yes. So lots of people at home right now are probably remembering the Project Runway <laughs> cameras coming to our small little town to celebrate all that talent that grew up right here in this region. And so in the past 20 seasons, the show has continued to push designers to their creative limits for some truly memorable fashion moments. So let's start with talking about the evolution of the show. What do you think is the biggest difference between season one and season 20? I mean, season one, I wasn't there, so I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that stayed the same is definitely Nina Garcia. Yeah. Uh, she's yeah. consistent, but one thing that I sure. think that changed, uh, oh, the diversity within the models, I think, mm -hmm. has changed yeah. uh, for sure. Yeah. And I think that the challenge, challenges have just gotten, like, more wild. I mean, they've been more creative with just, like, how to push us as creatives and designers and ways that we can just kind of like think out of the box and apply ourselves to our craft. And I think that that's really remarkable. One thing that has stayed the same is God bless that unconventional materials challenge and it'll never go away. <laughs> it'll haunt us forever. <laughs> It's so true. You made some, some good points, and I think it, it, the show gets better and better to watch because I think the creators do a good job of kind of honing in on what we love to watch as viewers of the show, and the competitive edge is definitely something there. It's competition you've all experienced before in the workroom on the runway. So I'm, so I'm wondering if you were surprised by the dynamic between the peers. It seems like you guys were really close this season, perhaps closer than any season I've ever watched, and I don't know if I was anticipating that from an all-star season. So did you expect that in the workroom? Um, I, I don't know. I went in expecting nothing, but I think we're a bit older mm -hmm. and wiser. <laughs> so yeah. we were not there to fight. We were just there to work. So, And we've and all done it before. Are. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think, too, like, it was fun to watch the peer-to-peer -peer interaction. Obviously, inspiration is clear amongst you. There was also, obviously, a really strong bond with mentor Christian Siriano, so that was fun to watch. I think you got closer to him than we've seen with that mentor relationship in the past. But I also want to ask you about the judges. I feel like I've seen more personality from the judges than ever before. Nina Garcia, who we mentioned, Elaine Weltroth, Brandon Maxwell. Do you think it's because they watched you, maybe judged you on past seasons, or do you think it had anything to do with the fact that there's no host figure this season? Do you think that changed the dynamic? Yeah, I think that like, I think that they've seen our progression. They've seen us from the very beginning. We've all done this before. So they've seen us through 20 plus challenges and our evolution as designers and how we've taken their feedback and applied it to our craft. And I think that they respect that, but also it's an all-star season. And so our passion and hunger for this is so much more immense than it was the first time. And they appreciate that. And they want to give us feedback to make us better designers. And I think that that, that leaves a little bit more excitement for them too. Yeah, I think that's a good point. It was a fun, it was a fun well dynamic to kind of watch. Do you, do you miss <laughs> yeah. the host figure? Do you miss the Heidi Klum, the Carly Kloss? Do you think watching back the show, it changed anything about how the season played out? I do yeah. miss having like a, I miss Carly. A host there. Yeah. I mean, I just love Carly. So, of course, I mean, I would love having, I mean, I, I think that the absence of her is, is, I mean, we, we miss her, but mm -hmm. it, the show went on just fine this new season. So, Yeah, it'll be yeah. interesting to see how it plays out in the future. If you're ever in need of a new host, I know a certain lifestyle host in Pennsylvania who would be happy to take over if you need me even for an episode. So just let the record show. <laughs> right. Let the people at Bravo Work. know that I am available and ready. I am so excited to see this finale. <laughs> the three of you probably have collections that are going to yeah, amaze 
everybody. So I, I just I couldn't think of a better top three. I've watched you on your original right. seasons on this season. So congratulations. I'm going to leave you with one very topical question since it's the day after Labor Day and I'm with the fashion experts here. Are we allowed to wear white after Labor Day? What do you think? Yes. Yes. hundred percent. Yes. yes. There you have it. We have yeah, it from the okay fashion. Rules are meant to be Experts. broken, honey. They're allowing it. I didn't know. It. <laughs> you guys it was are an the accident. best. Thank you so, so much. I, for one, am counting down the days to watch this finale. I know I'm not alone. It's Thursday at 9 o'clock on Bravo TV. Laurence, Brittany, and Bishmi, thank you for being here on the show. Congratulations yes. on all the success so far and still ahead. It was a pleasure having you on the show. You guys at home stick around. We've got more right after this. Thank you. Thank you so much.